guys! I have a new recipe for you. Um, it's stuffed chicken breasts, and they are world famous. All my family loves this, especially my son Justin loves them. Okay, but obviously I do not use stuffing to stuff my chicken breasts with because that would be bad. Um, I use vegetables, of course, so here we are. Let me show you. So here's my chicken breast. I butterflied it because, right, it looked like that. It looked like that at first. I took a knife and sliced it open, and then I used this to... Um, flatten it a little bit okay then the next thing I do is put let me see you see me I put onion a thick sliced onion yes Zena, I hear you my cat is so needy here she is say hi Zena nah she usually says hi all right so there we go we got that in there actually that's a little too much onion even for me now, a lot of people don't like onion. You don't have to put onion in it. You can put peppers in it. Um, let me go back in the light. You can put zucchini in it. Um, whatever you want. But I like onions. I love onions in everything. So I put onions in first, okay? And then, over here, take a handful, take a handful of spinach, like that. I take some of these stemmy parts off. See, like that. See that? Pile it high. Pile it high with spinach. I take some of these tough stems off. They do get um, softer in the oven, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of them. And then, this is, uh, you guys, if you, want, if you want to keep a zero point, you don't have to use this, but I use Swiss cheese. Um, it's three points a slice. If you have a lot of points left over for the week, you can use two and make it a six-point meal, um, but you can make it a three-point meal. So you just put these here, like this, close it up, like that, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. See, I already have, see how I have my baking dish already done? All right. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to set you down for a minute. So after I wrapped up, I put toothpicks in them. See, like that. As you can see, I had some asparagus here with tomato slices on top. My stuffed chicken breasts that have a slice of onion, a handful of spinach, and a Swiss cheese. And then over here, I just cut a zucchini in half and um, seasoned it. So let me tell you what I use for my seasonings. All right, I put crushed red pepper in everything. All right, crushed red pepper, everything, everything. I love it. It's good. Zero points. All right, the next thing I use is Lee and Perrin's um, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. No one knows how to pronounce this stuff, but it's zero points. Um, and I splashed it over everything, so all of it, see? And then I found this new stuff that's also zero points. It's called, um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put pictures down in the um, comments so that you guys can find this stuff later. But this is uh, so good on everything. I poured it over all the vegetables and the chicken. I always, always use this. Okay. And I use a little bit of um, Himalayan salt. My son Justin told me about Himalayan salt. If you don't know about Himalayan salt, look it up. It's amazing. I never use real salt, regular salt on anything anymore at all. It, this tastes so much better and has so many vitamins in it for you. All right, and then of course, just good old fashioned pepper. So this couldn't be easier. Now remember, you can use any kind of vegetable that you want in the um, chicken breast. If you wanna put zucchini in it, you can. If you wanna put bell peppers, onions, garlic, whatever you want. And this is what they look like. Look how good that looks. Now I have a whole meal um, ready and one, one baking sheet. All right, so I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 for about a half an hour and then I always use um I always use a um a ther thermometer ther thermostat thermometer to make sure that it's cooked all the way. You don't want to overcook chicken. Chicken if it's overcooked tastes like a hockey puck. If it's undercooked, you're going to die. You're going to have botulism or whatever that stuff is called. All right. So I think I get everything. One more thing. Um, I'm getting like 50 to 100 friend requests every day for my recipes, and I, I accept everybody. 
but I've been getting a lot of men that are just trying to holler at me, as we used to say in the day. Okay, so just so you know, happily married, so um, no thirsties, you know, go on a dating site if you need to meet women, this isn't the place. I love my husband, he's my very best friend, we're very happy, um, and you know, just don't, you're just going to get blocked. Alright, so having said that, I don't think I'm all that in a bag of chips. This happens to all my friends. We talk about it all the time. It's not just me. These men find us somehow and just want to, I don't know, I don't know what they're trying to do. But guess what? We make fun of you. So don't do that. Save your pride. Save your ego. I'm not going to, if you're not here for recipes and lose weight, just don't bother, okay? Um, so, um, yeah, and this doesn't go for my male friends that are my real friends in real life, obviously, it doesn't apply to you. You can send me any kind of message you want. All right. So I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to pause this, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. All right. See you soon. Bye.